Welcome back to another GAC, guys. Obviously, not streaming again. Uh, still in a pretty big life transition, so this is going to happen from time to time, probably for the next month before things fully stabilize. But all right, so yeah, we got GAC. We're currently in the championship round. I'm also really close to 900,000 banners, so that's pretty darn cool. Our opponent today is actually a really tricky one. Uh, pretty good overall, except for his the strategy he uses has a really, really big flaw in it. And it's going to cost us, but we should be able to beat him. So before we look at our opponent, let's see what we're doing feats-wise. So we do have a Imperial Remnant feat to actually ma ma uh, to work out. Probably not going to be too hard. Uh, Moth Gideon and even my Gear 11 Dark Trooper should be able to kill something when accompanied by the rest of the troopers. And that's really I'm gonna all I'm going to worry about. None of this really is uh, is applicable for this this match. Uh, so that being said, actually, when did that when does that end? Okay. Two, it's got one hour and two days, or two day, one yeah, one day and two hours. So that's where where we're coming from right now. Still undefeated for the season. Uh, we are up against Rodget. Not really sure how to pronounce that name, but whatever. Overall, pretty solid roster. Uh, Seven hundred thousand lifetime banners, which is again you're starting to move into like the elite GAC players here at this point. And this is what he's got going on. He's got Ray. He's got Jedi Master Luke. Pretty darn good combo, and he's also got pretty much everything else that you you could ever. Hope or want for. I actually didn't check for BAM. I guess that maybe might be one thing he's missing. But overall, pretty full roster. I don't get a lot of people this full roster every single time. So it, it can be challenging when we do see them. So uh, he doesn't have BAM, but I think it's the end of the world. So basically what this guy does, he does it every single round. He actually, awkwardly enough, went a bit, little bit lighter on defense. But you can see he's kind of already attacked. Uh, what he does is he puts both his Galactic Legends in both walls. So you got... Kind of a Ray and Prey style wall here with a, a bad Ray team. You know, start, normal resistance Ray team, I guess you could say. I, I consider it a bad team. Um, if Ray can be a bad team. Again, another Oxymoron. Uh, but then Karthamon Moth, those are those will die super easily. At least those comps. And then the bottom wall is Jedi Master Luke. And then he got, he's got Grievous and Padme here as well, which, you know, good squads. Uh, that being said, this is a little bit tricky. And the reason why is because... Jedi Master Luke, normally my counter to him would be my own, except for uh, this guy is actually is faster. Uh, you can see that he he invested, he did the Sun Ray too, uh, we'll look at that when we get to that battle. But he's super invested in his Galactic Legends, and he comes out to a total of two speed faster than my Jedi Master Luke. So I'm really out of my Jedi Master Luke counter in a lot of ways. Uh, they're actually, uh, the, the current team we're looking at right now isn't actually that hard. Uh, there are actually other counters that I could have planned for better, maybe Darth Revan or even um, maybe like a Jedi Knight Revan led uh, Jedi Master Luke team with Want. But one of the reasons why I didn't do that, and you guys probably already saw part of my defense, is because what the guy's history said that he always left on defense wasn't the current Jedi Master Luke squad we're seeing. It was this one. He was leaving Jedi Master Luke with Jedi Knight Revan, Gas, Jedi Knight Luke, and Hoda, and what he did with his uh, Jedi Master Luke's mods is also what he did with the rest of his arena mods. So his arena mods are also really ballistic. Like, he, he's put all of his best, uh, like, fully loaded 6A mods onto them, which is pretty ridiculous. And it's just going to end up being a really strong team. So I didn't want to risk something like, like, Darth Revan might work, but I, don't, I have no idea if he works with that entire uh, squad in there, especially when it's something I haven't worked with and I haven't perfected a lot. So basically what I did was, I plan it for my defense. I knew he was kind of going to do this. I went ahead and I looked at the rest of his teams, and I saw that with what he was putting on defense, he really can't even do off-meta counters. Like, his Vader isn't that, is, and isn't that good. He usually left Gash, Jedi, Luke, and Jedi Revan on the Jedi, um, on the Jedi Master Luke team. And I mean, that's, that's like three off-meta counters right there inside of that. So he didn't, he didn't have those as an option. I guess he could actually still do Gas and Chewbacca against my SLKR. Maybe he's hiding that to, to try to fake me out. And then I put Jedi Master Luke up here because, again, he doesn't really have the counters to be able to do this. I, I looked at his Darth Revan. His Darth Revan was decent gear-wise, but I believe he had, like, a gear 12 Basilish on Fallen. And his Darth Revan wasn't that fast, so I'm pretty sure he couldn't use that against uh, this team in here. So, uh, pretty much what we did is we just stonewalled him. You can see he failed on my John Grievous two times here. So that even, even if we completely, like, just bomb everything... Uh, we still have a really good shot of beating him. I do not think the full clear is going to happen today. If I'm being just straight up honest with everyone, I it's just too hard. Um, I, I could have gotten it if I had taken the right resources on offense, but I knew if I were to take, for example, some of these teams on offense to try to do that, I was afraid I was going to have to drop a bunch of battles. 
and he was going to full clear me, and I, I would lose my streak. And right now, I'm, I'm currently on a 100 and four win streak, which is very long for me. I've, I've never been on a lit win streak this long. And right now, that is infinitely more important than me taking top 10. Uh, so if I if I don't full clear here, but I win, I will be happy. That is kind of what I'm going for here today. So that being said, let, let's do try to guarantee the win. Normally, I would try to go for these bottom teams, clear at the bottom all, see what's on the back, and kind of make a wise decision from there to be able to full clear. But like I said, full clear isn't necessarily on the table today. It, we might be able to pull it out, but I'm thinking probably not. Uh, so to be able to beat him, all we need to do is clear one wall and call it good. So we're going to go ahead and clear this top wall. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and use my kind of tried and true uh, raid counter, and that is Darth Revan with what? Uh, hopefully I still have the whole squad here. Uh, but yeah, Ray, Ray herself, she's modded pretty well. Um, she has a crit damage triangle. Not really a fan of that. But other than that, pretty good. Um, not too slow. A lot of health. A little bit of offense. Got it going on. The rest of the squad really isn't that great, though. And that's going to make this counter actually super easy. Uh, yeah, Poe or Finn is under 300 speed. And that's with the, with this comp that's really all that kind of matters is how fast is their Finn. So let's go ahead and load in our comp here. Let's see here. Sith Empire. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to play this really safe, guys. I'm going to... I'm going to play this really stinking safe, and actually, you know, I should check their tenacity, too. That, that's actually come to bite me in the butt before with uh, Lanny Bastlashan's Fallen stuff. Okay, yeah, almost no tenacity. So unless RNG really screws us over, um, we should probably be fine. Yeah, he doesn't have that many 60 mods in this. I wonder if he got his uh, Jedi Master Luke before he got his Ray. That's kind of what it looks like. Well, I guess they both have ultimates, so it's hard to tell. All right, um, let's make sure I click the right team, because if I don't click the right team, I lose everything. It's just the top team there, yeah? Okay. All right, this is a counter that I actually used to run in Arena back when I didn't have any Galactic Legends, and it's what I continue to use all throughout uh, GAC. So we're going to use Darth Rebel, use the two of them, and this is actually a really expensive team, especially for expanded divisions, uh, but just this is kind of what I needed to do, and I'll, I'll explain it once we get everyone loaded in here. Uh, you, and then let's go ahead and throw in our empire here. So, the, the idea for this strategy is really simple. Uh, Darth Revan keeps the entire, between Darth Revan and Bastos on Fallen, uh, they keep the entire team feared the entire time. The only one they can't fear is Rey, and that's where Thrawn comes in, fractures her. Uh, Watt really facilitates a lot of things with having a constant taunter, regardless of what happens, as well as having Darth Revan cycle through even more turns with the, the TM tech. Genosha Brood Alpha is probably the least necessary here, if I'm being honest. I could probably, in a lot of um, cases, I could use Malak. But Genosha Brood Alpha just really helps if something goes wrong, we don't land the ability block, they get too many turns, and we need someone to eat a whirlwind, and I don't want it to be Thrawn. Um, so that's why GBA is here. He's probably the only part of this that would constitute overkill. The rest is very much necessary. All right, let's go ahead and do this. It's been a while since I've ran this counter, but I, like I said, I used to run it so much. Um, it, it, there shouldn't be that big of a deal. Unless this team goes down, I mean, I, I, that's pretty much the win right there. Maybe not the full clear, but the win. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the attack tech right into Darth Revan. Uh, Ray will go ahead and start and do her thing. That's normal. It's impossible to outspeed her. We'll get that, and we're actually going to see if we can throw fear up on Finn, because he's already cycled through his turn, and it looks like we got it on him. So we're going to go ahead and put the our pre-taunt over there. Or not pre-taunt, I guess, uh, just... Which we're, going to we're actually going to not AoE everyone. I want to kind of avoid dispelling the fear off of everyone just necessarily. Um, or just necessarily. I'm not sure how to say that word. All right. Uh, just kind of keep going here. See if we can get the ability block and Ray. Avoid the whirlwind. And then we'll fear everyone again. And the goal here, and we're going to put this on Geno Shimbrood Alpha just for funsies. Uh, the goal here is actually to get her into damage immunity. Then she'll go into her ult. And at that point, um, we should be able to tank the first ult pretty darn easily. So she got death marks. We're kind of locked into going after her, which is fine. We're going to switch with Darth Revan just so we can cycle through, back through that as much as possible. And Thrawn's not even going to get another turn here. Um, I actually really don't like Cleansing Ferocity because that is my speed. If I have to do it, I'll do it to Darth Revan because he at least has the other turn meter gain. All right, so they're going back through things here. Let's see if we can land this on you. We got it. All right, yeah, so we're, we're getting all the debuffs. They're not leaving their fear cycle. One of the uh, one thing that can be really kind of awkward in this, I guess, is uh, Chewbacca over there. We're not going to fracture while she's doing that. Uh, he will actually get two bonus turns when we kill Ray because of his reworked kit. Um, so we might lose a banner or two on him kind of freaking out. But we'll we'll survive this absolutely no issues whatsoever. It looks like Thrawn is probably just going to get a turn right before she moves in case 
He doesn't. We'll go into ability blocker. Um, let's go ahead and do that over here. I actually probably could have popped the protection up. I should have done that. Now let's go ahead and knock down the, the stagger that everyone has. And now we really want to go for the damage. We really got to kill her now. Uh, if we cannot kill her right now, this counter essentially just doesn't work. So we're going to try to use more of our bigger moves here. Try to get her down as far as we can. Um, again, we're going to kind of ignore putting up fear. We just we, we just want to make contact. We just want to... We really, really want to hurt her. All right. Hopefully this will get her really close. Um, let's go ahead and pop protection, actually. Because we're getting close to that. And we'll switch back around to Darth Revan. And Darth Revan should be able to finish this right here. Nice. All right. The first one I actually want to kill here is Poe. Uh, Poe on his uh, unique... I believe this is unique. He strips... Um... Oh, yep. Uh, there goes Chewbacca. Uh, <laughs> Chewbacca went ahead and did his thing. Uh, on his unique, he goes ahead and he actually just removes my, whatchamacallit, I think it's my, yeah, my protection every single time I lose a debuff. Um, with Frosty, that is happening like literally every single turn. So we need to go ahead and kill him first. And then we can actually maybe even fracture someone in damage immunity. Um, that way we can kind of recover things super stinking well. And I think we actually have enough time to do that. Um, so what we're going to do, yeah, we're going to go ahead and actually fracture, uh, what's his face over there in damage immunity. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm probably just going to put this on auto basic. Uh, though eventually we got two minutes to cycle through enough, uh, team or turns, and that should give us enough time to recover full protection on everyone, uh, through Watts unique. All right, once Watt gets to turn here, I'll take it off auto basic. Uh, that way we can use his whatchamacallit. There we go. Pop that. And now we pretty much have one minute for Thrawn to leave Fracture and for us to get this for a solid 60 banners, which should be the case. All right, so now he's left Fracture. Now he just needs to leave damage immunity. And this is going to be a pretty solid win. All right, so... Yeah, Fraction damage is actually a pretty big risk, but I'm getting greedy for banners. Solid 60. There it is. Can't really complain about that. I will take it. Um, kind of a little reflection on that. We did not, like I said, kind of going into this, we did not need to have Genosha Brood Alpha there. We didn't even eat any Whirlwind. Actually, you know what? It, it probably did save us a banner because uh, Chewbacca, that one hit that Chewbacca got in, uh, that was actually very, very clutch. We probably would have lost a few banners, but I don't know if sacrificing my entire Genosha team was worth those three banners. It might have been. It might have been. So we took out Ray. So that was pretty nice. And now we have this Karth team to look at. I'm just going to go ahead and do this Karth team right now. Just kind of for simplicity's sake. It's right here in our face. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and take in Xylo. Uh, I've done this match a million times. I think a lot of people have done this match a million times. There's really no secret to it. The team just gets too many debuffs going. And he really just becomes unstoppable. So we'll go ahead and do the AoE there. Uh, we got some retribution going on. Maybe we can get healing immunity on someone. All right, they stunned us. That's okay. We'll eventually just we'll get, we'll get enough debuffs that we'll just cycle through all this and we'll end up just lapping everyone like we just did. I'm gonna go ahead and do that just so we can recover protection. We don't want to get too incredibly low, but I do. I do need to get healing immunity on Zalbar. The is we're just not gonna get him down. All right. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the healing immunity. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter now. I'll go ahead and do that because we're blind. Not a lot we can do. All right, this is going to hurt a lot. Yep, there we go. Yeah, once, once they get Xylo into his health rather than just beating down his protection, he will, his big hit uh, does a lot of damage. All right, we'll kill Karth. Uh, actually, I really should be trying to be kill a mission, actually, if I don't have to hit a taunter, specifically because of that really annoying blind. I would really, really want to leave Kandris towards the end here. He He's just such a facilitator for this team. Um, so, yeah, mission's gone. Um if this match had any doubt, it is now definitely gone. Whack. All right, we got stunned. That's, that's whatever. Give it to me, Candrus. Give it to me. All right, there's all that. Whack. Nice. All right. And that's pretty much game here. Solid 64. Thank you, Zylo. Teams like that, especially in the expanded divisions, they really, really make uh, the full clear a lot easier. Just being able to have a, a one character type of team. Uh, the top wall, we're probably going to nest as well, actually, because the Padme at the bottom is 3PO. And this is a pretty bad comp. One, one of the reasons why this is a pretty bad comp, don't do this. Um, 
they put a rebel that is not a rebel fighter on the Mon Mothma team, and that really takes it down a notch. Um, and looking over here, actually, this yeah, they're not modded super well. There's a gray mod on Wedge. There's really no reason to do that. Yeah, not that great. Um, we're probably still taking Kira uh, just to kind of be safe. I don't want to don't want anything to time up. But Biggs, Biggs and Princess Leia in here together really makes this kind of a cakewalk. Where are my scoundrels? Uh, Kira leads, and this should be a good profit of 60 banners. It can get kind of scary, but it usually goes pretty darn well. And you guys can probably see from the rest of the stuff on my roster, we are going to give the bottom all a crack. I'm, I'm not just going to lie down and let that one go away, but we, I got to guarantee this top wall first, uh, just so that we can make sure we are going to be getting, uh, the win, which ultimately is the most important thing here. All right, so... We'll keep cycling through the whole Biggs thing because he keeps getting turned here when we crit him and then we counter him and just the fun that never ends there. And then every time we do, we also rip off his uh, evasion evasion buff and that generates a little bit more crit damage for us every single time. So even when uh, Mon Mothma goes out of her way to revive him, uh, we'll eventually just build him up damage that it'll happen too much for her to revive him. We're just laying doing some damage there. Yep, there goes Bigsy. And they're really not doing enough damage. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and continue the cycle with uh, Biggs there. We really haven't built up enough damage uh, to be able to one-shot anyone off of our big hit, so we're going to go ahead and just save that. I do like to do that on Wedge when possible, though. He And, and this team, he is, I guess, th the threat, if you will. Um, yeah, Princess Light actually generates quite a bit of buffs for us as well. All right, so hopefully we've got another Biggs loop here where he'll just kill himself. Very, very nice. Yep. There it goes. Uh, Ness doesn't have a quite a 100% chance to counter, so that loop doesn't always work quite the way I want it to. Uh, kill? Nope, not quite. All right, yeah, so we, about a minute and a half in, we still haven't built it up enough for that mid hit to do all the damage that I want it to. Um, but still, quite a bit. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and do this. Yep, all right, so Wedge is down. Now, this is great because when Mon Mothma goes to revive someone, uh, she's actually only going to be able to revive one. So it puts us in a pretty good it puts in a pretty good place to be able to just kind of keep working our way uh, down the team. All right, let's see if we can do this. I guess Lando's our next target because he's the only one of them that's alive, I guess. All right, so Biggs came back, which is great. Um, uh, Mon Mothma, she was going to revive someone, and she chose to revive Vibs. And Biggs is really the one who generates more crit damage for us, and there's no threat of him one shot. So between the two, uh, we want him. The uh, the trooper there also is now passing out uh, damage penetration, which is really just another buff for us to work off of. Uh, Wedge is now down as well. We're actually, with Princess Leia on this comp, we're probably going to actually have to kill uh, the trooper to be able to get to her, which is fine. Uh, he'll he'll go down easy enough, and Princess Leia isn't really hitting hard enough uh, to be able um, to be able to get through our shell, even with all of her buffs that she has. All right, so we'll kill the trooper, and we won't actually... Okay, so Biggs is going to come in here, give us a little bit of a boost again. And I would like to be able to get the big hit on Princess Leia, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen with... Uh, oof, okay, that works. Um, I guess any hit is a big hit when it comes to hitting Princess Leia. All right, so um, all three of the teams down for nothing less than 60 banners. Looking pretty darn sweet. All right, and then what does he have on defense? He Okay, this is great. Um, pretty weak fleets. Pretty darn weak fleets. You know what, actually, I think I made a mistake there. We, I guess it doesn't matter. Like, I don't think troopers beat any of this, at least not my troopers. Um, the reason why that kind of sucks is because I wanted to get the feat with uh, Dark Trooper and the Moth. So I kind of just wasted probably some good teams to do that against. Yeah, I did. I, sh I should use troopers on Mod Moth now that I'm thinking about it. But at the end of the day, if I can't clear this wall to begin with, those 70 banners do not matter at all. Um, so we, we pretty much guaranteed the win. Unless he does have something that can somehow counter gas. Um, and even then, I think he might struggle a little bit on my back wall, considering he's already down a few extra teams from not being able to just one-shot Grievous, which is great. Grievous was, was something we thought we was going to be phased out a long time ago, and he just keeps on going. All right, so what we're going to do here now is we... Um, He's actually, all, all three of these squads actually kind of pose a threat. I think we want to use CLS against the top team. That's generally the counter that I want to use. I should actually check speeds on these. Um, I could maybe even use Jedi Knight Revan. Yeah, we have some options. We have some options. But obviously the biggest pain in the butt here is going to be Jedi Master Luke. 
Jedi Master Luke's the one that's going to be hard to take down. And we have our own Jedi Master Kenobi, which actually counters him pretty well. One of the, the only issue is, and I actually kind of know the comp I want to use. The, 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 the big issue is here, he is, um, he's too darn fast. He outspeeds my Jedi Master Kenobi, unless I use Cam. And for those who, who have watched me for a while, like Cam is not really battle ready. And by battle ready, I mean he's six stars. Uh, he is gear 11, so he, he, he can stay around for a little bit in the battle. Uh, but ultimately, he's not going to be able to do that much damage. So we're actually, this is going to be risky and probably not the best idea. Uh, but this is what we're going to go with. We're, we're going to go ahead and throw in Jedi Master Kenobi. We're going to, and then from here, pretty much just use the basic. Um, so we need we need, we need need him. We need Ahsoka. Those are kind of givens. We, and we need we need to use our undergeared cam. And now what I'm trying to think about here, though, is... Um, Jedi Knight Anakin is cool. I like Jedi Knight Anakin. He would he would be he would be the most uh, economically the best character using this team right now. But I don't know if he's enough to win. I know I know Gas would obviously be better. Uh, that being said, I would really love to use Gas five oh first against something. So um, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, all right, so let's let's say we use Gas five oh first just just for funsies. Um, we do that. And then for the other two teams, we would still actually have kind of a decent Padme team. Uh, maybe we could use like Padme, Grandmaster Yoda, Jenna Anakin, and them to beat the Grievous team. And then we could use CLS. Yeah, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. So yeah, not in love with Gas here. I would rather use Jenna Anakin, but I've never really used this counter before. And I don't know how it's going to work, especially the undergeared cam, I think is going to make things very difficult. Because one of, one of the really sucky things actually about this... And Jedi Master Luke's, uh, Jedi Master Kenobi's lead is Cam is going to be the one that's going to be called to assist. And at gear 11, he's not doing any damage. So, But we need him here for the speed. Because if we go first, we put up our debuffs, and all of their debuffs essentially mean nothing. Again, I'm not too keen on the strategy, what we're supposed to do here. But I'm just going to try to kill Jedi Luke first. Because if they lose him as DPS, I can, might even be able to clean this up with something like... I was going to say gas, but... Um, yeah, actually, I don't know. That's a good point, now that I think about it. Maybe we need gas to clean this up. Mm, yeah, that's actually, yeah, I don't know. That is an interesting point. Oh, this is complicated. Shoot. All right, well, hopefully this is enough. Yeah, this is this is a little risky, but at the end of the day, we, we, we went the safe route. We, we put a lot on defense. Uh, he shouldn't be able to full clear. Um, so, yeah. I guess Jedi Anakin Lee can work with clones. I don't know what that'll be, though. All right, so we really desperately need to put this up first just so we don't lose anyone. And they really can't ignore too much taunt right now, so we're actually going to put this on Kenobi. I like to occasionally put this on um, other people. Yeah, so Cam's assisting there for what is virtually nothing. Uh, that first move also means nothing. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, we couldn't crit them and increase the cooldowns because they had whatchamacallit, so that kind of sucks. Uh, we'll come in here. We're actually going to call ourself... Uh, cause I want to, uh, I want to, uh, let's see if we can get some armor shred here, actually. Nice. Okay, the armor shred is actually, that is pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and do that for funsies. Um, call on her, get some retribution. Cam's gonna do no damage again. Uh, they'll get that, that's, that's okay. Um, should have been aiming for tonight. Luke didn't go through, but I don't think that's the big, biggest deal in the world. Uh, we'll go ahead and call ourselves again here. Uh, hit Jedi Knight Luke. They're going right after Gas, which is very smart on their part. Uh, basic again. Should have gone for them. They're going to get their ultimate. Yikes. Oh, this is going to get nasty really quick. Uh, that... well, for everyone who thinks that Jedi Master Luke's ultimate is bad, you're... Unfortunately, I'm in for a treat. Yep. And they're going after Cam now. Um, let's actually go ahead and put this down. Let's put this on, on Gas, because they can now ignore Taunt. And since they can now ignore Taunt... Um, there's really not a huge point in having, um, yeah, see, they're going after gas. All right, so that's good. Now we can all go on under tonight. Luke, oh, come on, Cam, hit him a little. Yes, all right, all right, this is really good. Ooh, wow, that is good. Um, let's just go right after him. He's already got two stacks of armor shred. Let's get healing. Oh, this is going to work. Oh, this is going to work, guys. Yes. Nice. Okay, so got his ultimate. That's okay. 
Um, ooh, 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 this is so good. I, did, I, did, I didn't think we were going to get this far. Uh, the full clear is back on the menu, boys. There we go, there we go. All right, um, yeah, we've even got quite a bit of time on this. This, this, oh, this, whoo, freaking out a little. Uh, this could even be good banners. Let's actually go ahead and hit Hoda. Um, we, we have some, some ways to recover protection here. Wow, yeah, JMK hits hard. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if we need the gas, but I'm really not going to question it right now. The biggest use for gas was going to be a cleanup. Um, and that just, well, that just may not be necessary. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that just so we can try to, um, pull this out a little bit longer and gas is going to end this too quickly right before we got a protection back. But that's okay. 59. I will, I will take 59. All right, cool. Got both those galactic legends down. I'm getting really jittery. All right. Um, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Um, okay. All right. So that's down. And now we're going to go after Padme, I think, because Padme really, <sighs> CLS is good for her, and nothing else is really great for Grievous. Um, I'll figure out what we want to do with Grievous after Padme. Worst case scenario, he can be burned down. He can be burned down. All right. Um, I should really ch have checked the speeds in the rest of them, but uh, there's really no point, because I don't, I don't really have any other options for this counter. I mean, I could use... I could probably use Jedi Revan. Um... Or could I? Do I have my Jedi? Yeah, I guess I kind of do. Yeah, they're there. But uh, I'm I'm more comfortable with this overall. We the last time we did the the Jedi revenue, it went south really really quickly. All right, um, we're actually going to go ahead and stun three PO because his confusion uh, is ultimately what leads to this team just doing really poorly. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'll go and do this and just try to get everyone as much turn meter as possible. Mass attack there. Uh, let's actually go ahead and blind everyone. Nice. Okay. So we're going to rip everything off. Probably actually should have saved that hit right there. All right. So do that. Um, we need to go out to Jenna Anakin. So let's go ahead and get the big hit here. Uh, not quite as big as I wanted, but big enough. Um, I need to actually use this basic. Um, See here, so we can go for Jedi Anakin again. See if we can get him down at all. Uh, looks like they're about to get a few turns, so this is not super great. Um, let's go ahead and rip everything off again. Uh, dang it. Okay, all right, we'll just go ahead and do that. And then, I guess we'll just do this. We need we need to generate more turn meter here. That's that's what we're trying to do. But actually, it looks like we might. Ooh, that's also not good. Uh, looks like we might actually get G uh, GK down, and that's really not great because that is gonna that's gonna trigger what's his face, uh, General Anakin. Yeah. All right. Um. There, there, there. Nice, nice, nice. As many hits as possible here. Generate as much turn meter, and then we just need to go right for General Anakin. Hopefully this. I really need to kill. All right, this should actually do it. All right, so we can get a big hit here. Nice. Okay, so General Anakin is now dead. That is great. And now we just have to pretty much repeat the same process uh, with Padme over there without her getting a turn. So let's go ahead and do this hit. Nice. Uh, basic. Should probably actually should have gone in for the special because I think that can be re that's more likely to be resisted. All right, rip that off. Um, go and do this. All right, big hit. Ah, not enough. Not enough. Getting there. All right, hopefully with the AOEs, uh, that should do a significant amount. Or if not, we at least we start getting a uh, 3PO and Ahsoka down. Oh, yep, there goes the 3PO. That and that's that hurts their that hurts their overall health quite a bit. But we need more turn meter more than we need anything else right now. So we're just gonna swap some stances. Gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Um, all right, rip that off, and then big hit on Padme. Oosh, nice. Okay, cool. Um, and now the pretty much the whole team falls apart because they can't do anything. Okay, all right, there it goes sixty banners. Pretty darn solid. <sighs> okay, all right. Good, 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 good. And now we've got General Grievous to worry about. Um, and this is actually. You would have told me I wouldn't worry about General Grievous going into this match. I probably would not have believed you, but 
uh, what do we want to use here? So we we have a few options. Um, they're actually really. Sc we, we could, I don't really don't like the idea of Jedi against a a team this well geared. But I'm trying, I'm considering... Ooh, actually, that's potency set's good. Good for me, at least. Crit damage. Yeah, so he's pretty well modded, actually, overall. Um, I'm almost considering... If we use Vader, we'd have to use Piet, and I don't want to do that, because I, I, want, I want to use Trooper somewhere in the back wall for that whatchamacallit feat. So let's maybe try this. Uh, let's try a... Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna try a mixture here of maybe we should, maybe we could just do Padme five oh first. I don't know how that would look. No, I think this I think this will work. I'm not sure this is the best idea in the world, but we're gonna try it. Um, yeah, because the beginning of the strategy should essentially be the same. We jump first. We we take their stealth. We pull B2 out, and then we just go all in on B2. But he's probably going to survive. I don't, I don't have as much DPS without Ahsoka here. Well, there's only so much you can do. Hopefully, we kill someone. Without Watt, they don't have as nearly as much survivability, so that's good. All right, so we'll go into this. Uh, B2 is going to come out, but he's going to run into Foresight, which is great. Um, don't really need the tenacity up. Can't, can't gain the turn meter anyways. Uh, let's see if we can go all in on B2. Um, not looking super great. And then let's see if maybe Jedi and Anakin can get the big kill here. Nice. Okay, that is awesome. So even, even if we lose here right now, um, even if we lose here right now, we should still be in good shape. Uh, because... Uh, without B2 in the match, this team, it, it drops in um, really how much value it is quite a, by quite a bit. All right, so we'll go ahead and do big hit here. Uh, we're probably actually just going to have to, yeah, uh, well, just going to have to rip that Band-Aid off. Someone's probably going to die, but that's okay. Sorry, Rex. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get some hits off over here. Uh, just a basic, and hopefully we'll eventually have enough... Uh, either Courage or a Rex big hit to actually kill Grievous, uh, which is why I'm trying not to take his last bit of protection off. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and basic here. All right, so that happened. Looks like he's actually got another bonus turn, so we're probably going to lose Graymaster Yoda here as well. Um, that's okay. We'll just kick him in the face. Really bad banners, but we're going to get this win as well. Oh, actually just got a little bit better. Let's actually not kill him, see if we can get some... Yeah, we'll... No choice now. All right, that's okay. 52 really actually sucks. Um, do not like it at all, but it's much better than having to two-shot it. So, what's got in the back wall? Let's get in the back wall. Please be something relatively easy. Wow, okay, this guy does not... Okay, 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 okay. There, yeah, there's plenty of easy stuff in here. And there's, there's also totally a way, totally a way for us to get our Watch McCall feet. Wow, this, this, this match is going way better than I thought I was going to go. You know, props to JMK. Uh, really big props as well to Gear 11 Cam. Um... Yeah, guys, I, th I think I actually know my video title for this is not going to be, is Gear 11 Cam Any Good? Um, that's that's going to be the title. That sounds something clickbaity enough, but also reasonable. Yeah, so he's he's really screwed just even from losing from that GG match over there. Yeah, this is not a good good match for my ego. This is not going to help at all. All right, so how fast are you guys? Not fast at all, 232. Um, I guess I'll check Django. Don't know why. Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and trooper this. That's going to go around real easy. We'll we'll find something for the Ewoks, and then we can just Vader the bugs, as per usual. Ooh, we could probably maybe even <laughs> say we could Malak sold them, but I feel like that ends in a timeout. We'll see. Um, who do I want to use here? Troopers. And we need to use two Imperial Remnants. So uh, we'll use you, you, um, maybe. Piet is a... Yeah, I think we'll do this, actually. We'll, we're going to leave a Stark, actually, off here. Getting going first makes... The whole kind of turn meter train pointless because we're we're gonna go first no matter what. My dark sucks like a lot. Like he he's he's modded. I got I got him to gear eleven. He's pretty much this is actually at a very similar position as my cam. Um, but but yeah, let's go ahead and take out this bottom team here, and that'll get us our feet. Normally I wouldn't use dark. Normally I would, I would prefer Stark, uh, but feet to feet. So this this should still be an easy sixty though. 
Um, can we just kill Dengar right at the very beginning? Yep, we can. That is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Cat over there with this mass attack. Yeah, my Dark is hitting for a total of... Actually, that's not, that's not bad. I think he's hitting for like a total of 5,000 for each punch. Um, I don't actually really know his kit that much. 10% turn meter, why not? Well, let's actually go ahead and put that on Dark for funsies. I see that's what the, the people who are good at the game do. And whack right into boss. I'm not even paying attention. We, we have too many stacks right now for us to lose. Um, let's go and do that. Why not? Whack. All right, Dark, do your stuff. Daze him, why not? No reason to not to. Oh, he missed. That sucks. Okay. I wonder if his... Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Dark Mist. I wonder if he has accuracy in his whatchamacallit and his mastery that goes away when he gets relics. All right, this is good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, Malik Sulgan's bears actually makes me nervous. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm not that brave. Okay... Uh, so we can go ahead and claim that. That's gonna it's going away pretty soon. All right, we got Ewoks to deal with here, and as well as Geo. So Geos, we'll go ahead and kind of let's see who you got Empire wise. Oh, we get to use uh, Palpatine lead again. I actually rather like Palpatine lead. Don't get to use it that often. Um, ooh, actually, yeah, I think we'll be fine with just the two of them. Normally, I really actually don't like this, but um. These Gene Oceans really didn't look that good, and I, I don't have Thrawn, I don't have Piet, I don't have Watt, so <laughs> those would normally be who I would use the most, so here we are. So we can go into that, because we have What's-His-Face's lead. Um, break out into this, get rid of Spy. He actually probably didn't need to do that, he probably would have done it on a basic, and I think we could probably kill GBA um, on the second uh, call here. Yeah, so the two... Uh, somewhat e threats are already dead, so really not a lot they can do, especially oh wow, especially when that happens um, yikes Poggle's dead uh, let's just go ahead and do that I guess die <laughs> just for funsies here whack nice, good job, alright 62 there, very very nice this is going super well guys, super happy about this uh, now we got Ewoks to take care of, and I think, yeah, I don't know actually what I want to do. I can, I can obviously I can beat them, but I'm trying to think of what what's gonna be best banner wise. Maybe I could do like a, I could probably just do a a three man OR Jedi team. I could probably just use these three. It would probably beat it for a solid sixty two, I think, because we can mark Elder, and then once he's dead, they really can't do a whole lot. Let's go ahead and do that. Basla's recently gear 13, so hopefully that'll do something for me. I could take an old Ben too, but eh. Not really feeling it today. Alright, turn this back to a normal speed. Uh, go ahead and mark Elder over there, and then once he's gone, uh, they have no hope at anything. Uh, go ahead and call in there as well. Yep, and he's gone. So, oh. <laughs> That was really difficult. I guess we take out uh, Wicket now. It's kind of the threat there. All right, they'll go ahead and get several attacks off. Uh, that's what they do. Let's go ahead and call in who needs the, the protection back. And then I think damage threat, I think Pop was actually the next strongest. Uh, Basila needs some protection back as well. Uh, let's actually go ahead and mark Chirpa. Nice. All right, he'll do that. That's fine. Uh, go ahead and call Janet Revan to get his protection back. Oh, we we lost our Wushmacod. Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and actually swap Jolie. He's about to take a turn anyways. Um, call in Jolie. Nice. Full protection again. Jolie needs it now. Let's actually go ahead and kill Pablo. I think Pablo does more damage. All right. Um, nobody really needs the protection. We'll just go ahead and go for the kill. Probably actually should be holding those assists, but didn't matter. 62. Way to go, guys. I actually got a like, the squad lore-wise is super cool. There go the Ewoks. Wow. Okay. 
Pretty cool getting to take down a, uh, a front wall that started with two Galactic Legends with both my Galactic Legends um, on the back. All right. Um, let's see what we wanted to do here. Huh. This is actually... Okay, so as Ray, so what's-her-face is pretty good. How good is Thrawn? Year 12. And we saw the Jew is actually super weak. Okay, so yeah, the Malevolence will actually easily beat this Thrawn fleet, probably even without reinforcements. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and take out this one. I think actually I'll probably only take in two reinforcements as well. Um, actually, not you. Yeah, let's go and do that. It's funny, that JMK versus uh, Jedi Master Luke fight... I didn't really know. Um, I didn't really know how good it was, and I think one of my issues with my, me using uh, GMK recently is I've always uh, called in like Gas or someone else uh, to assist when I should have always, always, always been calling in GMK. From what it seems. Oh yeah, this team just got neutered. They have a lot of survivability to this. I, I have found this team to be super annoying before. Let's go ahead and call in this guy. Uh, make sure we get our taunt up because we don't currently have one. Reduce turn meter. Ooh, Sarge. Sarge is actually a super great, a super great reinforcement for uh, for this team. I'm really I'm glad we took in uh, Ahsoka now because this this is going to make a little last a little bit longer, and having her will will cut the battle and it'll be it'll be a lot less likely that we we time out. So uh, let's, yeah, let's go for the AOE. Why not? Um, let's go ahead and remove these two debuffs over here because we're going to go ahead and remove these anyways. Nice. Um, now, Rex, I love having Rex here when all five are on the field because he pretty much just get, gets to give a free turn out to, or a free half a turn to Jedi and Anakin every single time he goes. So, I'm going to get to cycle through a lot. Let's go ahead and just kill Sarge, probably kill Poe as well. Going to lose a little bit of health here, but... Overall, pretty darn solid. Can't really complain about that. 66. I guess a solid fleet. And then we'll go ahead and do this one, too. And again, these... He did not have them... I know he doesn't have anyone on that team really leveled up. We should be able to shred through this team with no reinforcements. All right. You, you, you. And we'll call that a day. Yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with my choices using gas with uh, GMK. I don't know what Jedi Anakin would have looked like. I don't know if it would have been a win. Um, let's actually just go ahead and do that. Just pump up some turn meter. Um, but awkwardly enough, Padme worked pretty darn well. All right, we'll kill this guy. Uh, we'll get a stun on this one. Actually, or just st stun via death. We'll lose all our protection banners. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that... Might have even killed him. Nice. All right, and reinforcement, totally not necessary. 67. Level one gets more banners than Negotiator for once. All right, and we leave with a 2498. That is actually a really stinking good score. That is a really, really stinking good score. Super happy with that. Yeah, and anything within the 2500 realm, that's awesome. Okay. Um, wow. Cool match, guys. Cool match. Um, don't care what he does. Uh, the losses on Grievous already constitute a loss for him. We already know we have the win. All right. So, uh, like I said, th this um, go doing our streams via via video is going to happen every once in a while for the next month, and I'm going to look into making it a permanent thing along with the streams afterwards. But thanks to everyone for watching, and as always, stay awesome.